Hi YouTubers, welcome to my uh, skincare Sundays. So obviously it's, I just said it, so this video is going to be actually a skincare facial video. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a facial and hope you guys enjoy. Please continue watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell, we are in my bathroom currently and I'm going to be doing a skincare facial um, Sunday today. So let's get started and I'm going to start off by using my Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner Foaming Face Wash. Looks something like this. And usually I like to start by wetting my face. Now time to rinse. Now I keep a side towel here in the bathroom so when I wash my face I can just easily grab for it. Okay, now first things first is because my, I have like a random loose hair. Okay, because my microderm is a little too big for me to keep in here, I decided to try out my dermophile that I got at Marshall's for like $15. I know, right? Now I'm gonna get a little close. And what this does essentially is, um, it exfoliates the skin. So I will start peeling dead skin. And you just kind of do this everywhere. It's been a while since I've gotten a facial, so I figured why not? go all over your face just scrubbing it take two cotton rounds and just kind of take off the excess dry skin that came off. I'm gonna 
set this aside to wash it and disinfect it afterwards. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of my pineapple enzyme, which is a second form of exfoliation. Okay. So the pineapple one is very hydrating and I kind of need it because my skin is it's a little dry. So I'm gonna wet my brush and then with my aloe vera toner, I'm gonna go ahead and squirt this in to the pineapple, it activates it. So you can either do water or you can do toner. And then just kind of mix it around and apply it. So the way you apply a mask, whether you're doing it on yourself or on a client, is you have you do long strokes. So you see you just apply and then you constantly just move the brush from one side to the other. I gotta go ahead and let the mask sit for like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put this on pause and I'll be back after 10 minutes. All right guys, it's been 10 minutes and I am back. So after applying the enzyme and leaving it on for 10 minutes, you have to manipulate it. So you kind of just wet your hands in warm water and just scrub because there is sugar in this enzyme so with the sugar when you scrub it it exfoliates your skin leaving it very smooth and soft which has a towel and some warm water. And I'm gonna use a towel. So next, I'm actually going to try something new that I've never tried before, and I bought these masks a while back, and I figured it's time I use them, even if it's on myself. So this is a hydro jelly mask, which I heard is very hydrating for the skin, and I got, I'm going to do the one in Radiance Biotin, and it's a glowing and resilient hydro jelly mask, which my skin kind of needs it, and it looks like this. Now in here it says this is like a one-time use, but it says mix powder contents with one scoop of water, adjust water amount to get desired consistency. 
mix quickly and spread everywhere over the base. After 15 to 20 minutes, peel off to remove. So this it looks like these are peel off masks, so they dry on the skin. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much, this is a one time use. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this with one scoop of water. And then I have my little mixing bowl right here. So it's all mixed in, and as you can see, it's green. Now, these, actually the way that they're applied is actually with the spatula itself. I'm going to get a little close to the mirror here. Hydrating. Oh, it's cold. So far, so good. It feels very hydrating. I did hear that these masks do contain um, algae in them. So if you're allergic to anything in regards to the ocean or algae, don't use them. But as far as I know, I'm not allergic to anything. So cross our fingers and hope everything goes well. I feel like because I have a pretty small face, this could, this mixture could have been good for two people, not just myself, because I already have a good amount on my face. lot in here still. I'm just going to pile it on. And I'm going to put some on my lips as well, but before I do that, I do want to tell you guys that um, when I'm done putting it on, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes because that's what it says on, on here. 
and I'm gonna let it sit and I'll be back and that's the thing with facials is that all these products that you put on your face you have to let them soak into your skin okay so I'm gonna go ahead and apply to my lips as well let's moisturize these bad boys so I'm not gonna talk for a good chunk of time talk now all right so I'm back and I'm peeling this mask off Since this is taking longer than I thought, um, I'll be back. Okay, now let me actually fix the camera. There we go. To finish off with my last mask, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Skin Recovery Mask that has sea buckthorn berry and carrot oils. And this, just like it sounds, Recovery Mask. Okay, it's supposed to leave your skin feeling very smooth and glowing. Alright, and 
I put this in my little glue jar and I'm gonna go in with my brush again in these long strokes. again I have to go ahead and let this mask sit for like 10 minutes and I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering like man why does this take so long well we need to let mask sit or whatever so it can soak into the skin we can't just put it on and wash it off right away and number two um, yeah it's a process with all the masks and enzymes that I put on my face but each one helps my skin in a different way so let's say obviously cleansing the face will remove the dirt and the excess makeup which i haven't worn makeup in a while so i don't have to worry about that and then the enzyme exfoliates my skin and then the um hydro jelly mask obviously it hydrates my skin and it said it would help it um pretty much rejuvenate and and same with the skin recovery mask so that one you put it in the end to just help restore your skin or whatever because my skin was feeling very dry and dull and it was time for this facial so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll be back in 10 minutes to finish off my facial with the rest of the of my products like moisturizer um, serum I also have a facial mat, a facial, not a mask, a facial mist um, that I like a lot. So I'll be back to finish that off. And with toner also, all this stuff is very needed. All right, just to cut a little bit down on time, I want to get, I went ahead and removed the mask already. And I'm going to continue with my skincare routine, which I'm going to grab another two cotton rounds and dip them in water like so I'm going to separate them and then grab the olive vera toner the toner gets off any residue left from the mask or if there's any dirt left which there shouldn't be And it's also very soothing and calming and just, it tones the face. All right, so that's that. Let's go adjust the camera a little bit. And so next, I'm gonna go in with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Face Mist. This is a very hydrating and glowing radiance. So that looks like that. And spray this all over the face. So when it comes to facial products, oh, and then now I'm going to fan it out so it can dry fast. When it comes to facial products, you always apply the thinnest um, first, the one that's the thinnest consistency only because that way the skin can soak in rather like something as thick as moisturizer 
nothing will be, the skin won't be able to suck in anything after that because moisturizer is very thick. So that's why I applied the mist first. And then next, I'm actually going to go in with the Kypris Antioxidant Dew Serum. I'm just going to apply a couple of dots. If I didn't have the, the mist, I would apply the serum first because serum is very thin, so it always goes on first. to my skin and this is actually uh olive vera gel it's not just like a regular olive vera gel it has other products in it as well and i got it as a sample from skin script which is an, an esthetician product line high-end product line I just didn't have time to read all the ingredients on there. I just know it's a very hydrating gel. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see. It does have a very cooling effect. But right now my face is very rusty so it burns a little. Alright, then I'm going to go in with the eye cream. So eye cream you always apply in an inner motion like this. Towards your nose because this actually helps to prevent future eye wrinkles. And yes, this was something that I was taught at my esthetician school, my beauty school. All right, now going in with my moisturizer, which I feel I grabbed too, too much. video but I haven't had a facial done in a while so my face really needed it um, but yeah normally my skincare routine is a lot simpler than this <laughs> hope you guys liked it and if you guys liked it go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll also be linking my um, esthetician Instagram especially because I do um, I do have a mobile service currently with facials in the Inland Empire area, 
So if you guys want more information or want to go ahead and DM me, please uh, follow me on my Instagram, which is SL Aesthetics. Just just like my um, YouTube channel, all right? So I'll go ahead and link that at the end of the video. Thank you. Bye.